challenges. Yeah. Um, with the actors. Well, it was it was hot as balls there. Is that a saying? And why would you even say that? It is a saying. Um, but why are balls hot? Point is, it was yeah. very hot. It was very hot in the studio. Really hot. And uh, so that was that was tricky because you know you turn on the air conditioning, it's like uh, you know. So we were sweating it out on that spaceship. <laughs> It's a, a dark comedy set in the future as we had imagined it in the 70s. I'm a huge fan of 70s sci-fi. Uh, as a kid, I wanted to live on a moon colony. Like, I wanted to live in Epcot Center. I don't know, like that monorail. It was like, why can't there be one in my town? So anyway, it was this idea of this perfect future that we never got. And that was kind of like what my parents had, <laughs> like they moved to the suburbs and they thought everything, you know, they thought they had everything they had wanted, but in the end, it, it didn't make them happy. So uh, the movie's kind of about suburban ennui in space. <laughs> there's a lot of humor in the movie, but also um, there's, you know, real people who are going through some real shit and they're in pain. And I personally love dark comedies, so like, Todd Solondz, like, oh my God, happiness. When I saw that, I was just cackling. But of course, there's gonna be some people in the theater who are like, why are you laughing? This is terrible. And uh, I love movies like that, you know, where some of the audience, the people who get it, just think it's hysterical. And, and then the people who don't get the humor, they can still enjoy it as a drama. The film has Patrick Wilson, Liv Tyler, Matt Bomer, Jerry O'Connell. I don't know how I got so lucky. <laughs> they give incredible performances. I don't think, you've seen any of them quite this way.